applications. So if you're curious about this stuff and you've sort of squeezed all the juice out of grocery sink, then I really encourage you to look at that one. Some models. Um, models are really nice. They're a lot like um, NS managed object in core data. They, instead of having to deal with the documents as being these things that contain NS dictionaries, and you have to remember the right keys to put in the dictionaries and you might misspell them or something. Models let you create your own classes that inherit from CDL model and you can define properties on them. So here, um, this is sort of an object model for the, for, uh, the grocery sink. We have a list object that can contain multiple task objects. So we implement task as a subclass of CDL model and we create some properties for the obvious attributes of it, the title, the creation date, the checked property, and then finally which list it belongs to. On list, we create another class for that one. The list has a title. Um, this is from the to-do light app where you can have multiple lists that are each named. And then it has an array of members, which is the, uh, the tasks that it contains. Oh, sorry, no, members is the uh, people who have access to it, since To Do Light is actually a, a social application. So behind the scenes, every one of these model objects has a document associated with it. Model isn't anything new, really. It, it's just a um, facade around CDL document that makes it easier to work with. So models, they're kind of like NS managed object. They're somewhat simpler. Um, they don't have quite all the bells and whistles, but then on the other hand, a lot of people have said that they find this a lot easier to understand than core data. Their main job is to map the, the JSON view of the world that the database provides onto Objective-C properties that are more convenient to work with. So it handles mapping 